Welcome in, ladies and gentlemen. This is another game from our cast it. And we do have a 2v2, so I apologize that there's no nameplate or banner or anything. But spawning over here in the right position on Tirador Keep, it is our Red Zerg player Jabberwock and his teammate, the Blue Protoss Ender. And then spawning over in the left position, it's our uh, Purple Protoss player, Super Zerg. And our teal Terran player, Sim. Now, if you already suspect shenanigans, you'd be correct. We do have a probe moving off across the map here, and a probe moving off across the map here. Uh, so we'll see exactly what he intends to do. I have a little bit of a head start after uh, seeing the description. Super Zerg playing Toss. Yeah, a little bit confused. As w I'm a little bit confused as well, Ender. So Tirador Keep uh, is a three spawn map, and we do see the bottom base is empty in this case, and uh, having the Zerg always an interesting part of uh, a 2v2 is you can put on early pressure, and uh, but as we do see the shenanigans coming down from Super Zerg, our purple Protoss player, the pylon in the back of the base. As you look back, nothing out of the ordinary coming from the Terran uh, in any way, shape, or form. Just more SCVs and whatnot. Uh, Super Zerg actually doesn't have a forge, so we'll probably build it in his opponent's base as well. I do not believe this is scouted. They got very close to seeing it, but now here comes the forge, so actually it's cancelled. There it is. Um, maybe just afraid of walling in his probe. Uh, we do see Jabberwock expanding to the in-base expansion on Tirador Keep, and uh, Ender just getting up a double gas. So kind of an interesting opening from everybody. He's got double gas before his gateway's finished, which is a little bit surprising. And this probe actually harassing the destructible rocks, maybe just looking for something to do. And we do see the uh, Super Zerg not making a whole lot of probes back home. Uh, just on the 15 for now. The forge is now done, and he has more than enough. He's going to begin the cannon rush. Now, these first two cannons, uh, well, one of them is kind of useless. Because he's rushing a Zerg player right now, uh, the creep actually extends so that he can, he'll never really be able to hit very much. Another pylon going down as well for Super Zerg. So it looks like he might be trying to extend his cannon rush off toward uh, this front wall of Ender, which is actually probably where he needs it to go. Uh, he could also cannon rush toward this natural. Now Super Zerg dragging him back into the cannons, and now everything's uh, revealed. There's actually the ping coming down uh, from Ender. And these cannons actually target firing the destructible rocks for no particular reason. Uh, we do see the follow-up uh, bunker at the front here, the Overlord, in position for Jabberwock uh, to get immediately shot down. So this, these three bunkers at the front, hopefully just to reduce the amount of counterattacks for the cheesing players. The cannons at the front, a couple of Zerglings get in just to sacrifice themselves, I suppose. Overlord now taking fire. Uh, Jabberwock doesn't need to lose an o another Overlord at this point. The Zealot going in kind of piecemeal as well. And uh, the response is not so great from the red and the blue player. Uh, here's a, a Stargate as well as a second gateway going down. Um, so we'll see kind of what happens with this. Uh, now the front gateway under fire trying to get out a Stalker before that happens. Uh, there's GG from Sim. Uh, that's an offensive GG. Uh, and an offensive GG from Super Zerg as well. And those kind of people just make me mad. Don't say GG uh, offensively. That's just not good mannered. So if anything else, that'll just uh, keep our red and blue players in the game for longer than they uh, want to be. But everything under fire, and the pylons located rather inconveniently at the back. The gateway does go down, the front pylon under fire. Uh, the Lynx trying to get in to pick off the probe, and they do quite a bit of damage, but they're unable to do that. And now a gateway going down uh, for Super Zerg inside his opponent's base. Uh, we do see this probe is snuck out down here uh, for the blue 
the Brew Protoss player, excuse me. Uh, but Ender has the probe snuck out, so he'll be able to expand if he wants to. Uh, he is supply blocked after losing that pylon. The destructible rocks now down, one void ray on the way, as well as a fleet beacon. Uh, <laughs> Uh, for Ender, and this is the perfect response, I think, except not at all. But we do see Roaches coming in now for Jabberwock, uh, trying to do his best just to not get shot up. He does pick off the probe, or one of them, I suppose. There's still another one here. If we look back, getting some Roaches. Uh, Super Zerk back home, uh, only on 18 supply and has over 800 minerals. Our uh, Terran player also has over 800 minerals and is stuck at 19 of 19 for no particular reason. Hasn't even begun starting another supply depot. Our red player actually at 48 and our blue player at 26. This uh, is actually a very heavy advantage and they do pick off the offensive pro. There's a couple of zealots going to come out of this gateway. But doing a decent job at least cleaning some of this up. One pylon goes down and uh, trying to target fire this second pylon, but nothing happening so far. And the cannon rush continues. Uh, we do see a couple of marines now moving in, trying to pick off this void ray, I believe. The void ray harassing at the back. This is a nice angle. He does need to get it out of there. Doesn't want to lose it to these marines. The void ray, probably the most valuable thing. We do see the mothership started for Ender. <laughs> Saving up the chrono boost. He could just chrono boost this uh, mothership out faster. But these marines really here to defend against uh, the Void Ray, but now he does have this open attack path. If we, if we look, there's absolutely nothing left in Sim Space, and he just refuses to build another supply depot. He's He said, I'm getting 19 supply this game, and that's it. We do see the marines moving in the front for Sim, not going to bother shooting down that Overlord, which could be annoying. A couple of zealots harassing at the front, uh, out of this proxy gateway. Uh, but here's the giant Roach Force. It'll be able to pick up a whole lot. Uh, Ender very happy about his mothership being half done. Four more probes being rallied in for no particular reason by Super Zerg. And actually I would contest that despite having all these cannons in the main, uh, red and blue players are actually in a significantly better position uh, than their opponents. So Jabberwock and Ender, I'm not sure, there's the tab. Uh, we do see the supplies. Our red and blue players at 41 and 37, and our teal and purple players at 19 and 25. I hear marines firing. They came in and killed a couple of drones, it looks like. And uh, Jabberwock just remassing force again. Another void ray due out. The uh, mothership is done. <laughs> Uh, the Void Ray harassing now at the back, able to take out a couple Marines, now target firing the Forge. He'll be able to take that down, and as we see, there's absolutely nothing in Super Zerg's base. Uh, he's floating so many minerals, all of his production right now is right here. There goes the Forge. He does have a Cybernetics Core up here as well. And really, the, the cheesing players just failing. Outright failing right now. Uh, we see more Marines coming in. Sim still at 19 supply, just doesn't like supply depots. Now he's finally realized that that might be a good idea, and he has them. The mothership, a couple more void rays popping out, poking this uh, essential extractor as well. And the Zerg army actually looking fairly strong right now. But all these cannons is really the problem right now. There's another forge being built offensively by Super Zerg. He still has no buildings back in the main base. Marines being rallied across two at a time, which of course won't do anything to this Void Ray. This hero Void Ray, nine kills already, Mentor Void Ray. We do see another pylon being built. He's firing at the Cybernetics Core, now choosing to take down the Forge again. We do see another engagement as the Zerg player uh, trying to pick off what he can. He loses quite a few lings, now leading in with the Roaches and just doing little bits of damage to this pylon, baiting out units. They're uh, surrounding a couple of the probes, and now he's just going to pull back again. This Void Ray still very charged up now on the forge. A couple of Marines coming in. He will target fire these down uh, before going back to the forge. We do see the repeated movements in and out by the Zerg player. Uh, Protoss air weapons level 1 nearly done. The Mothership and the Void Ray still chilling out back here. And these Roaches doing a fantastic job trying to clear up some of the cannons. Down goes another cannon. And another one. Nope, nope, this one's actually going to live. 
The Roach is just under too much fire. This Voidray has completed now 16 kills, as he did take care of the forge, uh, the second forge. So no more cannons can be built, at least momentarily. <laughs> the only player spending his money well is Jabberwock, and that's just because he doesn't actually have any drones. We do see the mothership now about to get into action. Plus one air weapons now done. A stalker trying to move in here and harass the queen needs to be careful. It's going to just take a bunch of uh, cannon fire and die. And in comes the cloaked army. <laughs> the only detection is all these cannons. So being a little bit careful, target firing the forge with the void rays. That's going to go down pretty quickly with these uh, cloaked void rays. More cannons going down. Another stalker pops out. Not going to be able to do a whole lot. And as we look, the building's migrating across the map for Sin. The Void Rays and the Mushroom are doing a very good job. Of course, uh, they are detected as there are still cannons here. And one of the Void Rays really falls. There's still, I believe, three... No, there's only two more underneath uh, the Mothership, but able just to get a decent angle. They have a large range, and they're picking off these pylons one by one. Soon everything will be unpowered. And where does Super Zerg go from here? All of his production buildings now unpowered and inside his opponent's base. If we look back, he's finally starting his first pylon back at home now that he's supply blocked at 18 of 10. The barracks are returning home for Sim, and they need to mount some sort of defense. Uh, he evidently figured out that he needed those depots from earlier, so now he's at 15 to 51 supply. <laughs> Mothership for the wind, says Ender. And I can't agree more. Uh, <laughs> actually, a solid choice. I'm not sure... It was completely necessary, but the style points have won the hearts of millions. Mothership counters cannons. <laughs> I think it does actually have a longer range than cannons, although uh, range of seven. I'm not sure there's actually a cannon on the map for me to check. But now every building cleaned up out of the main, and our Zerg and Protoss team uh, have quite a few options. The Void Ray is now taking down the destructible rock, the gold base. And we do see, again, the only player spending his money well is Jabberwock. Again, he's only got a handful of drones. If we look in the units tab, if we look at the workers, n only nine SEVs uh, uh, for the Terran player, 19 probes uh, for Super Zerg, to 23 probes uh, for Ender, and 16 drones for Jabberwock. So an economic advantage, as slight as it might be, but an economic advantage uh, for the red and the blue combo. And this probe probably looking to expand. Just a little bit worried about the cannon rush. Might not have been able to get up that mic uh, that macro very well. Uh, we do see a double ninja expand here from Ender, taking uh, the bottom two bases. And he's set up to take this gold eventually as well. There's the wall coming in from Jabberwock <laughs> about the double expansion, probably. And uh, the, the Terran and Protoss team just finishing walling up their front. Uh, still, actually, his orbital command now in production. Guys, guys, everybody, let's celebrate a little bit for the orbital command. The 18 minute, 15 second orbital command coming down from our Terran player, Sim. Uh, there's another expansion for <laughs> from Ender coming down at the gold base. And uh, more than enough drones now for Jabberwock. Probably very happy about that drone count being able to go back up. Uh, if we look in the units tab, he's up to 33 drones now on the two bases. And really enough money to do whatever he wants. And these players can sit back. Their opponents still haven't even taken their in-base expansion. Uh, <laughs> so despite that, she's doing a lot of damage. And even calling the premature GG, uh, there's... They're just in a horrible position. 53 supply for the blue player, 68, but supply blocked for uh, the red Zerg. The Terran player, 39 supply, and Super Zerg at 29. He does have this cannon here. Oh, I can check now. Range of 7. Okay, so the mothership has the same range as cannons. Just a fun fact. Uh, do void rays, void rays actually have a shorter range. Just in case you're wondering, we do see three more Stargates. Uh, there they are, on the way uh, for the blue Protoss player. And Ender just going to paddle down the creek in the noob canoe and mass up some void rays to go with his mothership. Jabberwock now on layer tech. N actually not producing anything right now. But that'll probably be about to change. And we'll see what tech choice he opts to go for. He has a huge pile of roaches right here. Uh, and... 
Only Marines to defend. He still hasn't... I guess this is a breath 